Recently, I decided to rewatch Over the Garden Wall, and it was pretty great. Now, I know it's not Halloween month yet, so it's a little too early to talk about Over the Garden Wall right now. But since I have something else planned for October, and I kinda don't have any ideas right now, I figured, why not talk about Over the Garden Wall? In case you're unfamiliar, this is an animated miniseries about two brothers, Ward and Greg, who got lost in a surreal forest filled with supernatural figures and are now trying to get back home. They would eventually tag along with this girl called Beatrice, who's also a bird. The entire series consists of 10 overarching episodes, which both offer self-contained stories while also following the main plot. Now, if I had to be honest, the show only started to really get to me in the second half of the runtime. In the first half, the main characters had very basic archetypes in which they were written in a way that was enough to give them personality and make me care for them, but not enough to find them particularly interesting by my standards. The reason why I favored the episodes that came after the fifth one is because that's when the characters were put in emotionally challenged situations and the conflict between them rose. Although despite that, don't get the impression that I don't enjoy the first five episodes. In fact, I do appreciate their existence as they did build up the main villain, the Beast, and they allowed the relationship between Ward, Greg, and Beatrice to grow, especially when initially, Ward and Beatrice kind of hated each other. Greg was competent enough. To be honest, I didn't find his innocently reckless behavior to be that charming, but it did end up being helpful in the long run as it did create some conflict with Ward, which ended up playing a huge role in the overall story. The environment that the show created is one of the things I appreciate the most. It isn't necessarily scary, at least for me, but it is unsettling and appropriate for Halloween. The spooky themes, while still surreal, were a little less outrageous and over the top, and more chill, which also reflect how the dialogue and animation are played off. Regarding the art style, it's what you expect from a CN produced show, although something that makes this art style a little bit distinct from other CN shows is how the characters are colored in a way that's meant to blend with the sepia tone of the picture, and several character designs are fashioned in a way that's meant to fit the classical theme that the show has. You can also tell how the show was inspired by classical culture by how some characters, not all of them but some, have sort of sophisticated and poetic speech patterns, how the unknown is completely detached from modern technology and activities, and how the musical score and numbers are classic and folk themed. There is also this thing where the edges of the screen are a bit blurry which I'm not 100% sure what it means but I like it for some reason. One complaint I might have is that at times the musical score didn't always fit the atmosphere or the scenery, which even then I can't say this with complete certainty because it's possible that those decisions were intentional in order to make the scene more unsettling. Also, I thought the animators didn't do a very good job with the Hoodsman facial expression perfectly emulating Christopher Lloyd's voice. I'm not sure how to explain this well, but all I can say is that the Hoodsman looked too young and sort of innocent for his vocal attitude. I know this criticism sounds odd, but I really don't know how to express myself better. I do however know that something felt odd about his facial expression. But anyway, I thought Over the Garden Wall was a fantastic cartoon which not only introduced us to an interesting story and environment, but also ended up inspiring Adventure Time to have their own miniseries which are also great. So, in other words, you should definitely watch Over the Garden Wall if you haven't already. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye for now.